Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be talking about my ten, top 10 book covers of 2017. So this year, they have so many books with beautiful covers. I just decide, thought I would do a video that leads up to New Year because I thought it would be fun. So let's get started. The first book cover I'm going to be talking about is Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. I just love how the whole cover looks like an actual painting and I like how they have the bookshelves in the background while it looks like Belle's looking at the bookshelves as there's magic sparkles around it and I just love the cover because of that. Not just because I love Beauty and the Beast, I just thought this cover was eye-catching. The next book I'm going to be talking about is Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. This is the second book of the Everland trilogy. Yeah, it's a trilogy. I'm sad about it, but I have not read this book yet, but I just love how the cover gives you a clue on what retelling is, because it, obviously it looks like Allies is falling from the rabbit hole, and I just love how they have the blue uh, all over it, like matching with the book cover of Everland, but except make it blue and match Alice's um, dress, like this book's version of Alice, if you know what I mean. The next book I'm talking about is Fireblood by Ellie Blake. I just love how the font looks really brutal, and I like how they have this crest in the middle, and plus they have like ice in the background, which is also that I like, because it has to match with the title and I like how the symbol is like dripping blood just cause to make it look dramatic and interesting mostly dramatic but that but this book cover grabbed my interest because of it and makes me want to read more when I got to it. The next book I'm talking about is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Leviseller. I just like how, like, the cover's, like, obviously about pirates, and I also like how they have the old paper that that's written in the title. I also love the handwriting of the font of the title, and I also like how the girl looks like Merida, and it makes me think, like, oh, Merida turned into a pirate, but that's not what the book's about, but I just really like it how they made it obvious that it's about pirates, which is... Something that doesn't happen these days in YA. The next book I'm talking about is Long May She Reign by Ren and Thomas. I just love how like the cover the cover's really beautiful to be um first off and I like how they use a flask and put a castle in it just so it looks like it's all science sciencey kinda of gives you a clue of what the characters like and hobby. I have not read this book yet, but I really, but I really like how this book's like really magical and and plus the fonts all pretty and silver and makes the colors pop at title pop at least. So I re I just think this cover is really beautiful because of that. The next book I'm talking about is Song of the Current by Sarah Trishore. I can't pronounce her name. I have not read this book either, but I just love how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful it is. It's like the view of the night sky on water, like if you're on a river or something, or a lake. It's beautiful. And plus, the, the font is all glittery and shiny, and that's like like about it. let me see if there's something interesting under the cover nope nothing interesting under the cover but it's I think this book's really beautiful and I mean I bought the book because of a cover but I really want to read it because the cover is so beautiful and the next book I'm talking about is Carval by Stephanie Garber I just not just be I like the cover because it's not all shiny not just because it's shiny but I love the font of it I think it's the font's really beautiful and nice, and I love how they use the colors match with the black. That's why I also like, and the back of this book is also really cool, and under the jacket, you have this 
little teardrop. I just thought it makes the book beautiful having that teardrop under the cover. Plus, it has a map in it. So it makes me think, like, oh, I should follow the map so I know where the character's going. So I've read this and I really enjoyed it. So I can't wait until Legendary comes out next year. The next book I'm talking about is By Your Side by Casey West. I just love how it kind of tells, gives you a clue on what the story takes place. Like, this whole story takes place in the library, so you have a stack of books and desks in the background, and it, and the couple looks like they're about to kiss, which is really cute. But um, I also love the font of this book. And I just think it looks fun, and yeah, and I just love this book cover and I can't wait to read it when I can. The last book I'm going to be talking about is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I like how like the book kind of gives you a clue on what retelling it is and it's all Christmassy as you can see here. It has all the the reds and everything that's usually say Christmas. Even the back, look at this, it's all, it's so beautiful and there's nothing pretty under the jacket but I wish they would put something that represents Christmas but they haven't but I just think this book's really beautiful because it's all Christmassy plus I love the how like the symbols go along with the title and it kind of also represents Christmas that's why I also love about this cover the last book I'm gonna be talking about is um, I actually don't own this book and that is Wicked Like Wildfire by Lana Plog I think I I can't remember the last name but the cover is so beautiful not only is like fully purple but it has all the flowers and everything nature in it so I definitely love the cover because of that and I'm sad that I have not owned this book yet so I'm like I gotta get this book because of the cover is so gorgeous but I haven't yet, but I really love how they have flowers on the cover, and plus the font is really pretty as well. So that is all for my top 10 favorite book covers of 2017, and if you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, and comment down below which book covers are your favorites, or what books have caught your attention because of the book covers. And if you want to follow me on social media. I have Facebook under The Lost Reader and Twitter and Instagram on Lost Reader 19. If you enjoy my channel, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!